right. I have here a sample. It is a sample of Spayburn 15, bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, non chill filtered and not colored, full maturation in a combination of Spanish oak, sherry, and bourbon casks. Okay. Now this was donated most generously by Donner Pass Whiskey. Thank you, Tim. I'm going to try this. Last time I had a spay burn was hmm, about six years ago. It was the Spayburn 10, and it was really underwhelming. There wasn't much flavor or complexity to it. Some people like that gentleness. Some people like that easy drinking gentleness. But if I'm going to really appreciate a whiskey, I want it to have some flavor. I want it to have some presence. I want it to have some complexity. And I don't want, want it to have one note that just drowns everything else out. I've had several whiskeys like that. But this one, in ex-Spanish oak, sherry, and bourbon casks, means that it has some, um, some European oak and some uh, American oak. That should make it interesting. That should make it tasty. That should give it some complexity, I hope. Well, uh, <coughs> got to clean the snot out, you know. Got to make room for the vapors to resonate within my nasal cavity. Ah, mmm, oh, right away on the nose, this is delicious. I do get some of that European oak spiciness. I get some of that sherry and oh, some black licorice, quite a bit of black licorice, star anise, uh, get some vanillas, but mostly a beautiful black licorice note. Some spiciness too, did I mention that yet? Dark, dried fruits, figs, dates, raisins, yes. Ah. Oh, that's a lovely nose. That is a lovely nose. I could nose that all day long. But that would make this video... Ah. Kind of tiresome and boring. Quick shooting action, trails of little droplets coming down the sides of the glass. Maybe because I washed them too well. Uh, yeah. Lots of black licorice. Bit of caramel. But mostly black licorice and dark dried fruits. Nice nose, I like it. Maybe I'll be a convert to Spayburn after all. Like I said, the first Spayburn I had didn't really do me. Mm. That smells so good. I think I'm going to sleep well after this one.
Mmm. It's rich. It's thick. There's some of that black licorice and marshmallow on the palate, as well as those dark fruits, dark dried fruits that coat the inside of the mouth all over. Uh, black licorice on the finish. Mm. Wow, this is nice. I am rapidly becoming a convert to Spayburn. I'm getting a lot less black licorice now and more marshmallow now that I've had a sip. Now that I'm nosing again. The dark fruits are still there, but they're not as much in my face as they were before. Yeah, like I said, marshmallow. Weird. Okay. The dark fruits are there again. The star anise, the black licorice, is there again. But it's not as strong as it was before I had a sip. I must be coming acclimated. I must be becoming acclimated to it. Mm. Yeah, it comes along very, very smooth and almost alkaline on the mouthfeel, slippery. And then as it transitions, I start to get spices. I start to get a lot of spices, white pepper, that kind of thing. And the spices from the oak tannins, from the European oak, um, that's definitely coming in as well. And all of that, the spices and the dark fruits are coating the inside of my mouth all over. And then on the finish, there's that black licorice star anise once again, right on the tip of the tongue and on the finish, while the entire mouth is coated by those dark fruits and those spices. Mm. Nice one. Very nice one. I am liking this. Wish I had a whole bottle. Wow, that would be something else. But Spayburn 15, I don't think I can get Spayburn 15 around here. And I don't know if I can order it out of Alberta. Maybe I can. But right now I'm kind of short on funds. And I will be short on funds for another couple months now. Then after that, maybe things will get better. Things will get easier. I've been hit by a few things. The groceries, the price of groceries has skyrocketed. You know, I used to get away with, you know, I remember 20 years ago, I'd spend $50 and get as much as what I spend now, as much as what I get for 200 now. It's ridiculous. Groceries have gone up. Um, price of gasoline. Gasoline has gone up. That's eating into my profits. Um, price of rent. Well, that's still relatively re reasonable in comparison to what it would be if I was to move out of here and get a new place. Um, our rent is, is, is limited by how much it can be um, raised every year which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of things making life expensive these days. And whiskey is, after all, a luxury item. Uh, but I will be 
I have I still have quite a bit bunkered down there, and I will be uh, I will be purchasing whiskey again in the in the near future. Meanwhile, it's really nice to have these samples. Uh, oh, I can't get enough of this one. This Spayburn 15 is delicious. Dark fruits, spices, black licorice, perfectly, perfectly balanced. I don't feel like downing this in one gulp. I'm going to say cilantro and have a sip. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>